Today, as a result of a week of significant protests in the nation of Kazakhstan, the Kazakh government resigned with Prime Minister Oskar Mamin and his cabinet leaving power. A successful protest? Who knew such a thing was possible? Well, not so much, as the present dictator of the nation is still in power, although his position is definitely a bit more shaky now. So why did the protest happen? Kazakhstan is an oil-rich nation. 65% of its exports is oil, and as such, gas prices are usually very cheap, 50 cents a gallon. As an American, that's reason enough to book a one-way ticket to Kazakhstan. In the recent months, however, the Kazakh government being authoritarian, who would have expected, they decided to test their power by increasing the price to $1.06 per gallon which made the Kazakh people furious. I know what you're thinking. They have cars in Kazakhstan? Yeah, it turns out they do. And more than that, people worry specifically about taxi prices going up as a result, which is kind of reasonable considering the size of the whole nation. Thousands of people showed up to protest in all five <laughs> Kazakhstan cities, which induced a state of emergency and violence between police. The government proposed to reduce the price of fuel to 79 cents, however the people desired 42 cents a gallon, and none more. Some protesters even called for a restoration of real democracy, which was apparently too much to ask for because President Tokayev had hundreds of protesters arrested and hundreds more injured. And in all, the protest was pretty chaotic, with an internet outage, government office houses being burnt down flights being cancelled, and a statue of the old president being toppled down. The whole thing kind of ended with President Takeyev cracking down on mass gatherings entirely. All that over 50 cent. More of the story being, never increase gas prices when half your nation is made of oil.